Now, Dan, is it nice out there, but super dry? <laughs> it is. It's really dry. Um, and it's just gorgeous. Now, the only downside to this whole thing is that the fire danger already elevated is going to get even higher. 69 the high in Vancouver, Troutdale, Portland, Hillsborough, McMinnville, and Aurora. That seemed to be the number, but Kelso was 72. Scapoo 71 and Hood River hit 70 this afternoon and it's on. We're going to be in the 70s for several days to come. We won't see a high temperature below 70 for about a week. Keep in mind the averages right now about 61. So we're going to be a good 15 to 20 degrees above that for a couple days, a couple three, four days in a row. Around the state, 60s on the coast, except for Newport, just 55. 72 in the Dalles may end up being the hot spot in Oregon this afternoon. Just absolutely sunny. And because we didn't have those strong northeast winds as we did yesterday, the air is clearer. We don't have that haze and the dust that we saw yesterday. Here's a great look at Mount Hood. Nice cap cloud over the mountain. This is from our camera on the Oregon Veterans Home over in the Dalles. Lovely shot, 70 degrees. East wind still pouring through the gorge, but they are diminishing. They're going to pick back up again, though, on Friday just a bit. Around the region, though, we don't even have an east wind. It's a light northwesterly wind, uh, southwesterly wind at the airport now. Still some pretty good breezes around Corvallis and down around Eugene. Tomorrow, 41 in the morning. So the mornings have been chilly. Even this morning, several spots were in the 30s, but tomorrow we'll bottom out about 41. We'll be 67 by noontime, so think about that. By noon tomorrow, we'll be nearly as warm as we were all day today. And then we jump to about 76 tomorrow. That'll be our new WDOY. And Laurel, I know you know what that means, right? Absolutely. Warmest day of the year. Yes, nailed it. It is, but only for a day because Friday will eclipse Thursday and Saturday will eclipse Friday. So we're going to get on a roll here. Now, satellite imagery showing the clouds streaming north up towards Alaska and northern BC. That's where the jet stream is. So there's this giant bubble of warm, dry air here on the west coast. Now, we had this circulation center over eastern Oregon. It's moved down near Salt Lake City today. So that is moving away and the clouds are going with it and the warm air just takes over all across the state. In fact, that's how it's going to be as we go through Friday. The winds increase Friday as we pick up a little bit more offshore flow. But then over the weekend, I mean, 80s in April, two days in a row. Amazing. Then possibly a sprinkle. And, and I'm really couching this, hedging it, qualifying it, possibly a sprinkle. As we go into Monday night or Tuesday, I think we stay dry. That system likely will stay to our south. Super weak anyway. And then we go right back to dry weather until potentially not this weekend, but next weekend. That's April 24th before we actually have a decent chance of seeing some decent rainfall. So this may go down as one of our driest Aprils on record right now. That honor goes to April 1956, April 1949 right behind. But this April, we haven't even had a tenth of an inch of rain so far. So we had a long way to go to, to not be in the top five driest Aprils that we've had on record here. 69 right now, freezing level on the way up from 5,800 feet. Our forecast tonight, clear tomorrow, sunny and warmer, 76. There's a 79 on Friday and 80 still on tap for the weekend. We'll be back right after.